Hi there, welcome to another computer tutoring tutorial. This time it's a Google Sheets tutorial and this time we're going to have a look at keyboard shortcuts. I've got my handy keyboard just here, so hopefully you can see this. Uh, you'll be able to see this keyboard shortcuts on the screen and I'm, I'm on a Google Sheets sheet here. So let's get into this, shall we? What you can do is you can go to help just at the top here so uh, let's just zoom in a tiny bit here there we go so up to here you can see the help that just that button give that button a click that would be great then you can go down and then you can choose keyboard shut shortcuts here note as well that there is a little shortcut button that you can use control and the forward slash key so i just want to make um uh, it clear that if you are using the Apple Macintosh, then every time I say control, then you should use command. And every time that you use, um, uh, I use alt, then you should use option. Uh, shift should be the same there. Okay, all right. So, so what I'm gonna do is I should click on that one there. And then I have a list of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, if I close down the chord keyboard shortcut box here, I can click on that. I can also go to control and a semicolon uh, forward slash as well. That's great, and I can search for uh, shortcuts here. So say for instance, I'm wanting to insert something like insert a row. So let's just try insert row here. Oops, or insert row. Here we go. So I've got control, alt, shift, plus and minus, and control, alt, plus. And remember you can do the command and the options uh, there. You may have to in turn put this enable compatible spreadsheet shortcuts little slider there and you can click on view so you can in insert the um, row here. So let's give that one a go. So I'm going to close this one down. So I click on here. Now what I'm just going to do is on the keyboard is I'm going to want to insert a row. So I'm going to hold down. Can you see this one here? The shift key and the space bar. So you can see now that that the row selected. I'm going to do that again. Hold the shift key and then the space bar again. Now, if you look very closely, if I zoom in, uh, where's my zoom in? Here we go. Uh, just over here on this left hand side, you can see that this number five here is selected. Oops, uh, let me just see if we can. Well, I can tell you what, I can just do that as um, a little arrow there. See that dark five over there? You need to make sure that's selected. Okay, once you've got that selected, that's great. What you can do is do Control, Alt, and Plus to add in a new row. So you can see a new row is added. I can keep getting Plus to add in lots of new row, many new rows there. And if I want to remove those rows, Control, Alt, and Minus, or Command Option. There we go. Uh, just gonna move my cursor around just using the cursor keys here. Say for instance, I just want to insert a column. So if I do control and space to add a column and then again, so it selects the whole column. I need to make sure that I've got a dark area here at the top and then I can hold down control and then plus to add in a column and keep plusing the column and then control minus or command minus to remove those there. So brilliant, I hope that makes sense there. So it's just a few shortcuts there. That's the main ones that people wanna use. Uh, let's just zoom back a bit here, here we go. Uh, lots as well, um, you can hold down the command key or the control key and use the arrow keys to move sort of to the beginning and end of your document, so that's quite a good one. Let's do control and forward slash, have a look at some other options here. Here's from some file commands that we can use. Uh, we've got open, control O and P and this one here. These are all available with this slider on here so if i want to open a spreadsheet i can do uh that that's quite cool uh yeah there's just like um yeah lots and lots and lots and lots of different types of options here hide in rows go full screen control and f1 oh well, that's a cool let's see if we can try that one there control and f1 full screen uh there we go i take it we're going to do that and come back as well so control f1 uh oh yeah that's good full screen control f1 again brings it back oh that's good you know, so coupled with the full screen on the Google here, um, uh, where is this one here? Um, I think it's like F11 actually, if I just find that F11. So that does, and then I can do control and F1. Oh wow, so I've got a nice big spreadsheet going here, that's good. I can press escape as well to come out of that. That's brilliant. And then uh, F11 again to turn that back. There we go. I can find that F11 on the keyboard, there we go. 
Brilliant, excellent. So there's tons with keyboard shortcuts here. There's so much to go in. So just, you know, knock yourself out, go through and make sure you try them out, uh, each one of those. Some of them you will have to use this little slider button. Uh, these ones here, we've got the Alt and the H and the O and all of that type of thing. So like the data one here, there's one which is uh, create a filter. You can see Alt, H, S and F. Do I have to, let me just see if I can turn that. Yeah, I'll just turn it on. So you see the create a filter, I've got Alt, let me just zoom in so you can see this one here. Uh, so you can see that I've got um, in create a filter alt or it will be command here and then it will be, uh, there we go, HSF or alt and DF. That's probably an easier one, this one here, the alt and the DF one. So let's just give that one a go. So let me just zoom back there. So if I'm here, I can just be in here. I told them the alt key, tap a D and then an F basically, and then I've, yeah, comes up and it lets me know I've pressed these shortcut keys here. Alt, D, F, there we go. So hold down the Alt, D and F, and it comes back, oops, sorry, let me make sure I've got into the sheet here. D, F, there we go, and they disappeared. It's basically the equivalent of going data, and then uh, uh, create yeah, a filter, basically doing that one. It's, it's the equivalent of doing that, so Alt and D, there we go. Excellent. All righty then. Yeah. Um, in fact, if I go back here and let's just turn this one off here, see if that one works as well. There we go. That's good. And I'm going to go Alt and D. Yes. And that comes up here as well. And then I can just tap an F to turn the filters on and off. So there we go. So you can actually, if you wanted to see those menus appear, I can do Alt and F and then the file menu comes down. I can use the cursor keys and hopefully it will stop your RSI by using the mouse. Great. If you've got anything out of this, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a tick that thumbs up and make sure that you click on the subscribe button and the notification button so that you don't miss any uh, other tutorials that are coming out. So this is a Google Sheets tutorial and uh, we are computer tutoring. Just really want to say thank you so much for, for watching.